Okay, so this is what I want to share. The end result. Right, so that's the end result. Let me break it down and go extremely slow. Um, to make sure you you uh, <clears throat> learn to play this as well. So first of all, the there are only four strings you need to focus on. Yeah, I'm this entire video I'm gonna focus on the the right hand. Okay, so as we all know, I I'm a beginner guitarist. Uh, I'm assuming you're a beginner. Uh, I hope this is not the first time you lay your hands on a guitar. You've touched a guitar before, but that that's all you need, right? So, <clears throat> focus is on the right hand side. Um, so there are four, six strings on the guitar. You only focus on the middle four. So the A, B, G, B, right? These four. And the pattern goes, I think if you um, simplify the pattern, it's basically a pinch. You can think about the four, screen, four strings as a uh, there's the outer two, these two are the outer two, and these two are the inner two. Okay, outer two, inner two. So there's a pinch, pinch, then inner two, then go to the outer two, then go back to the inner two, then you're done, right? So let's do it again even slower, pinch on the outer two strings. Go to the inner two next. Go to the outer two. Go back to the inner two. Okay, once more. Pinch on the outer two. So pinch, inner two, outer two, back to the inner two. That's the pattern, right? Pinch. Go to the inner two. Go to the outer two. Go to the inner two. Then you're you're done. Okay, once more. Pinch. Inner two. Outer two. Inner two. Down. Okay, so hopefully uh, that's clear in terms of, you know, the, the finger movements on the right hand, right? Um, just a, additional, uh, a few additional comments, right? The, as you can notice, you know, I have my pinky on the pick guard. And this is for the purpose of, you know, trying to make my right hand stable. Especially when, when I play faster, right? I need my right hand to be extremely stable because to me, you know, for the music to be pleasant to the ears, you got to make sure every note is clear and you have the rhythm, right? So you, you cannot do this, for example. Right? So you got to be uh, exactly on the rhythm and every note has to be crystal clear which is not easy to do, to do, right? So in order to do that, I think there, there are two things to uh, pay attention to. First of all, um, if you watch uh, on the YouTube, there are a lot of uh, videos about uh, the Travis style picker. You know, Travis uh, himself, uh, Merle Travis, he actually has uh, three fingers on his right hand, you know, trying to stabilize his right hand, right? The, the way he do it is, is using three fingers, you know, anchored on the pick guard, right? This way. So therefore, uh, Mr. Travis only has like two fingers at his disposal, right? To, to play the, the right hand, the thumb and the index finger. So if I play this, uh, you know, pattern, if I, you know, go with uh, Mr. Travis's style. This is what it, what it what it looks like. Pinch, 
go to the inner two, outer two, inner two, again, once more, pinch, inner two, outer two, inner two, right? So you, even if I have three fingers on the pickguard, right, serving as, as the stabilizer or the anchor to keep my right hand stable, I can still do it, right? So. So with practice, you can uh, you can do it, absolutely do it, right? And, and Mr. Travis can do extremely complex tunes, you know, just using two fingers, right, on, on his uh, right hand side. So it's doable, right? It's just a habit. And every person's just a, one additional comment, right? Every person, uh, our right hand is different, right? Uh, if you look look at my, sometimes I wonder, you know, why do I stop have um, such a uh, short pinky, right? Because uh, if you have a really really short pinky, it's really gonna limit you uh, on your left hand, right? You know, on the fretboard because you cannot stretch far enough to uh, to play uh, additional notes or additional chords. However. <laughs> There's a blessing because, you know, the short pinky makes my right hand, uh, uh, there, there's just added dexterity uh, to my right hand side, right? So uh, so the, the way I <laughs> explain to myself is, you know, look, you know, God has a purpose in, in the, the creation. When, when God created this right hand side, you know, there's more dexterity and, you know, my left hand uh, has this, you know, short pinky, which, <clears throat> which it sucks. My right hand sucks, right? But if you understand the purpose of <laughs> uh, God's creation, you may, maybe you, you you should think, you know, uh, I I may, why don't I just make the best of the situation? Um, you know, on my right hand side, because you know my right hand can play patterns uh, quite easily because you know. Uh, because of the shape of my hand, right? And the left-hand side, I'll figure out a way to get around, get around the limitations, right? Um, so by the way, you know, I'm not showing the left-hand side because I, I think the left-hand side, uh, there's really nothing uh, going on in there. You're holding a C shape, right? If you're an absolute uh, <clears throat> guitar player, uh, you don't know how to uh, like hold a C, a chord uh, on your left hand side you can uh, you know try google or look up a video on, on youtube to teach you how to hold a c shape right on the on the left hand side so the left hand side is pretty straightforward you just hold a c, c chord shape uh the, the the purpose of this video is to explain what is going on on the right hand side right and it's not hard uh, once you notice uh, that you know it's really a pattern of of a pinch then inner two and outer two and back to inner two, then you're done with this pattern, right? So once you master this, you can play uh, the finger picking uh, in uh, Kansas, you know, famous song, Dust in the Wind, right? Which a lot of people like. All right, I hope that's uh, helpful from uh, one beginner to my other fellow uh, beginners.